Hello friends, it's Dylan Young, Developer Advocate at Sitecore. Today I'm joined by Sarah Riley, a Sitecore Sales Engineer at Sitecore, who came over during the Box Ever acquisition. She will be running for the use case of using Salesforce CRM to collect contact details and then using Sitecore Connect to automate the ingestion of those contact details into Sitecore CDP. This specific use case demonstrates how an organization can collect rich data about their prospects or their customers via Salesforce CRM, and then send that data back into Sitecore CDP to power their specific marketing initiatives. If you like today's video, please subscribe and like today's video. Also, feel free to comment and let us know of any other use cases you would like us to cover. So with that being said, let's jump into Sarah's presentation. So to start off with, I'm just going to have a look here at the um, Sitecore CDP instance. And we can see here there's no customers basically in this instance yet. No guests yet are in here. Um, so if I go over and have a look in Salesforce, these are all my con um, contacts in the Salesforce instance that I'm using. And what I want to do is I want to have all of these different contacts, say, automatically ingested on a regular 24-hour basis, let's say. It doesn't have to be 24-hour basis. That's what we're going to have here in this case. So I have a look, for example, here at Andy Young. We can open up this profile. And what we can do is we can just search to see if um, Andy Young maybe exists inside CDP at the moment. So we know there's no guests here, so he's not going to exist. We can just search here and see, yeah, there's no results. And now what we're going to do is have all these details kind of automatically ingested um, into the CDP. Okay, so to do that, we're going to be using Sitecore Connect, and we're going to be using a Sitecore Connect recipe. So we're going to be using this one here. So if I just click edit this recipe, which I'll show you roughly how this is working. So this is basically triggering, say, every 12 hours. I can obviously change this, and it's just automatically going to trigger here in Sitecore Connect. If I then click here on the actions, I can see my first one here is for Salesforce. And just to show you how kind of straightforward this was to set up, I can click here, for example, action in any app. And then what I can do here is I can search across all the different connections that we have here inside Sitecore Connect. And you can see here, for example, there's a number for Salesforce. This is the one that I was using for Salesforce in this case, but we also have here Marketing Cloud, for example. If I click here on Salesforce, I can see all the options that I have here in terms of different connections that I want to do. And the one that I've set up in this case is one related to getting any records using um, this query here. So I'm using this one here to pull in any records that I want. Um, so you can see that's the one that's set up just below. So you can see how easy that would be to set up. I just click on it here and then I just write in my query and then it all gets set up. So if I go into what I've already set up, we'll see here, this is my very simple query. I'm pulling back all the contacts and all the fields within contacts. And here I'm also just pulling out the account name and I'm pulling back for the last um, six financial fiscal quarters. So I'm pulling back for the last six fiscal quarters. Um, obviously in, in a real implementation this might be like, you know, our updated date to say the last 12 hours or 24 hours or whatever it is. And here I can see all the attributes that are going to come back from my connection when I do that. And um, then what I'm doing is for each of those records, I'm basically running through this sequence um, here. So the first thing here is I'm just checking to see if there's an email and then I have this mapping that I'm doing um, into whatever is required inside Sitecore CDP. So there's a particular um, uh, data format that we require and that's all being set up here. So we have things like Salesforce is sending back um, MS dot and here we just, we're changing this into MS and Mr and things like that. So we have different things going on here in terms of the coding. And here for phone number, we're changing, for example, the format of the phone number here to a particular format that we're looking for in this particular um, recipe that we have here. Um, next, what we're doing is we're checking to see does that guest already exist. If the guest exists, then we're going to update the existing guest. And we're also going to create here some data extensions. So data extensions inside Sitecore CDP enable us to basically add on additional um, fields that aren't, aren't standard to the CDP kind of schema, the data schema there. So in this case, I'm adding in, for example, the account that the person relates to, the lead source, their assistant, their department, and their role. So all this is coming back um, from Salesforce in this case. I'm adding in all these additional fields here. And then if the customer does exist at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to update them because they already exist. So now what I can do is I can actually just um, test this. I'm just going to click here, test, and we're going to run this. 
So now it's just running through um, all of my different records here and setting them up inside Core CDP. So now that this is finished running, I can see here that it's been successful and I can dive into the details as well. So for example here, I can have a look here at this second action here and I can see here that 21 records were pulled back from my query and I can have a look here at all the records that were pulled back, for example. I can then see here what happened when I did the mapping, for example. So this was what, what everything mapped into. I can have a look at all these details here. Um, and then obviously I can have a look at all the requests that were going over into um, CDP to set up these different customers. So now if I go back into um, Sitecore CDP and we're just going to refresh this here, we should have basically all these guests in here. Um, so just to mention at the moment as well, it might be interesting is the identity rules that have been set up in CDP are for a Salesforce ID. So these are all the Salesforce IDs that we see here at the top. And then we also see, for example, the email that that particular contact is known in inside Salesforce. So we can see now that all these contacts here, these 21 contacts have now been um, sent into Sitecore CDP and are now stored there. Um, so you can pick on, for example, Barbara Levy here and have a look at her details and we can just search to see if we can find her um, inside the platform. So we'll just search here for Barbara Levy and here we can see her profile along with her Salesforce um, ID. You can also see, for example, her email address and phone number. If I go in here into the properties, I can see here some details about the customer and um, preferred language, date of birth, emails, phone numbers. And if I have a look over here, all this should be the same. So here we have the phone numbers and the date of birth here as well. And also what we can see here is we can also see some data extensions that have been sent in. So for example, here we can see that the account that this contact belongs to is Express Logistics and Transport and the assistant is Ron Sage. If we go back over here, we should see the same information on this profile here. So here we can see the account name here and we should also see here the assistant is Ron Sage. So all this information is getting automatically updated um, inside Sitecore CDP. Well, that concludes today's presentation. So please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you haven't done so already. This allows you to see future content that we're releasing on this channel. So thank you and we'll see you again next time. Thank you, goodbye.